Hey guys, Candace here. Welcome back. Today we are going to be jumping in and getting some wire on the Jabata Kaba to redefine it. Um, this is the tree that is my um, profile picture on YouTube. Um, it is also probably not only my most favorite tropical tree, but one, but I, it's either the top or the second favorite tree in my entire collection. Um, if you watched the Jabata Kaba, there's a playlist. It has a progression video of where this tree has been over the last um, 18 months or so. It has really, really done amazingly. Um, we're at a point now where we can go in now and start to reset some of this structure in this tree and then also, you know, prune back where it needs to be pruned back. We know this tree is ready for this work because Go back, watch the um, spring, Tropical Spring Push What's Up Wednesday video. We saw this tree push out with this massive brand new foliage. That foliage is now darkened off. It That one went into a slight dormant period where there really wasn't much new growth for a few weeks. It's in that time that the tree is completely depleted of its energy and all it's doing is reaccumulating energy through those new solar panels it just put out. We know then that it has recovered, it's reaccumulated its energy, it's back into an energy positive state, and it's saying that it is ready for more work if we want to, because it then resumed growing again. So when the Jabata Kaba leaves first come out, there's this very, very, very pretty blush color. Um, and then they have this, they move to this light greening with some blush around the edges. And then, uh, you know, to a light green, and then finally they do darken off. Um, this has a little bit of spottiness on here. It's just residual from my um, preventative spray that I use to prevent any issues. Um, this tree is also the one where I say I bought the tree because I fell in love with these primary structure lines and its trunk, but it's a little bit confusing to me because what I would pick looking at the base and not the canopy as our best you know, our best line showing that gentle movement throughout is not necessarily how it's been set up. You still get this gentle movement, um, but we'll be working on maybe moving our canopy just a little bit, and maybe we can do some slight angle twists because we have so many options to work with now in this tree. So let's jump in. I'm gonna start by going through and just getting some wire on this. Wiring a tree when it's in leaf is not the easiest thing to do, um, but with the Jabata Kaba, because you really build the branches and layers because of how their foliage grows, um, most of their foliage is gonna be all on the tips here, and then they put out all shoots and then new you know, leaf clusters. But when you build a Jabata Kaba bonsai, you kind of have to layer your branches then to fill in where they don't grow foliage. Um, but yeah, we'll b better be able to see that once we get in. So let's start by just doing a 360 on this tree. So right in, trying to get the view right. And right in here is where that front of this tree has primarily been set up. It's not a bad front, um, but as we rotate it, you'll see then that we gain more movement here in this view. However, the canopy is completely not set up. Um, one of the things I do want to see today is if we have enough length from letting all of this extend if we can adjust and start widening up the canopy from this view yes was it a lovely little bumblebee no what was it the same as that stung his eye a wasp Wasps. Stay away from those wasps. But all right, so I'm going to start it going in then and getting some wire and we're going to go into fast mode. I'm going to get wire on this tree and then go back and we'll pause and position those branches. All 
All right, so we've opened up this tree here in the middle so we can see that trunk flow line. We replaced our back branch here. Um, it's hard to see just because of the line, but back branch here. We opened up and placed this branch here, swung it around to the side so we can start getting with this way. And then we swung and started to work these branches to do that also then. Um, so what we need to do now then is go in and um, do the pruning. So we're gonna cut back and we're gonna increase our foliage length. Increase, <laughs> we're gonna decrease foliage length um, of our shoots and put everything kind of back in, make sure everything's able to get enough sun. Um, all right, so let's get in and let's create some carnage. Um, so as always, we're going to start with the, the lower branch. Um, we're going to take off anything growing straight upward or out of proportion to the tree. I'm also in certain areas where we do have like too many leaf cus clusters. I am going to just remove some of the older leaves. This tree out of all of my trees is a tree that I can't say sheds. Like it grows its leaves and it has not yet shed. Um, all right, so this one's going straight up. It has two branches that are coming out. Oh, latitudinal, latitudinal, is that a word? I don't know. Now it's time for us to get in and with the exception of this pad, which is already pretty much reduced and in shape, we are going to start working on our cutbacks and reduce them back to the appropriate length. See the side on the left is extremely long. That part looks good there, but here we're going to really be taking this back. Left. And because we now know where our branches are and where we have them and we have put them where we need them, it makes this work a lot, a lot quicker. Um, because we've gotten rid of everything that we know we absolutely don't want. And we have everything placed where we do want it. All right, guys, we are back. We are done with the wiring and the pruning and the cutting back of the Chibata Kaba. Um, this is a tropical tree. However, unlike most tropical trees, that this tree prefers to be in shade. Um, even here in Northern Wisconsin, where our sun and intensity is nothing compared to many places, um, this I'm lives in here. very filtered sun all the time. Here. Okay, can you just, Hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is little Louie. We don't see him much, but we hear him during the winter when he's hunting mice in the house. Right, Lou. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a 360. Please get off of the bonsai stand that you're standing on. It is not an Emily stand. I want to stand up. Um, I want to see you. And we're just going to continue to build and fill on the tree. Um, We've started to create the crown right on here on top. We've differentiated between our foliage layers. It's sometimes really hard to see that in video. It also looks like this side is still excessively long, but
but it is literally the exact same incremental step down from here to here as from here to here. Um, yeah. Still one of my favorite trees one of my favorite tropicals and probably one of my favorite trees. Uh, it's unlike, you know, some of the junipers, like my really nice Shimpaku, which is up there also, um, you know, and bigger trees, this is a slower growing tree. So this tree, um, I have to look, but I think this one is right around, this one was like 11 or 12 years old now. And it's not got like this massive wow factor, but sometimes I think there is just, a lot of beauty and a lot to be said for some very simple trees. Um, I think Ryan Neal said it once that it's really refreshing and nice when you're walking through a bonsai show and you see all of these big beefy meat and potatoes trees and it kind of gets to be a bit much and overwhelming and then you get something that's a salad and it's just well put together. You can see where the lines and the structure is really going to look great even as it continues to grow. Um, and it's just very simple and elegant. It's got very soft movement throughout the trees that's carried on in through the secondary branching, um, through the primary branches. And now we're just continuing to work on that tertiary development throughout this tree. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you guys are having fun and have fun with your bonsai. Oh, we forgot the carnage cam. There you go, Jay. There's your carnage. Minus what already blew away. <laughs>